Oh, good morning, guys. Trying to get an early start on everybody and uh, get this water pump down. No surprise whatsoever between the rain we got last night and the groundwater we're fighting. Our hole is full, but what is really surprising, it is actually still about a foot lower, almost two foot lower, eh, about 18 inches lower than that over there. So our dam's still holding. That up there didn't get flooded out. The only thing that's actually flooded is our hole, which is a good thing. So we're going to get fluids checked in this little tractor, get it fired up. we got about an hour before everybody shows up to start. Everybody, I guess that's Aaron, me and Aaron. I, actually, I think Crash is working today, but I'm not sure if you guys will see him. But anyways, we'll get this pump down, try to finish getting this dug out. And yeah, let the fun begin. You guys make fun of my little tractors from time to time. I got three of these. I got a 655, 755, no, scratch that. 655, 855, which is this one, and a 955, which is the one with the loader on it. And these are the handiest little tractors you will ever own. So, oh no. The correct little fluid check on this thing is it's gonna have a long day ahead of it. Pumping water. This is uh, not quite a big enough tractor for this pump. It pulls this tractor pretty hard, but it gets the job done. So fire and hole. Let's let her warm up a little bit. I'll get her pump. Oh, she's getting ready to go. There she goes. we come back the water level is considerably lower about 45 minutes later guys it is uh it is definitely going down if you guys look along the edge there it's dropped uh, probably 16 18 inches which means it's about half halfway down from where it needs to be i think that's low enough we'll probably get started over on the other side make something happen but before we do that we need to uh Get all the fluids topped off and everything checked on the machines here. Look at them stretch. Oh, do a step stool? Yeah, I do. I so, one of them in here. I don't know if uh, you videoed any of this, but uh, Gunner's got it out for you and he's plotting. Oh, he does? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I videoed any of it or not. You'll have to check. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Whoa, what happened? <laughs> I, I mean, there was a lot of cars there, a lot of people. It was almost like there was a You know, he car. asked me this morning, that he said, like all gutter spray. He said, uh, is Aaron working today? I said, yeah. He said, will you be at the house today? I said, no. He said, good. I need a few more days. Yeah, gutter going to be happy. <laughs> all right. We're going to get these two machines peeled up. And, uh, we're off the races. You making fun of my camera this morning? You got a nice toupee on it. They can't see like that, that though. No, they can't see that. I can see that. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> Where's the uh, one that comes with it? Well, I have a lot of good things to say about GoPro, but as in every company out there, there's room for improvement. So anybody has a media mod, the little foam piece that goes over the uh, speaker microphone thing for noise, they don't sell it separately. That's that's crazy. And it just snaps on, so whenever you drop your camera or hop in and out of a truck. The wind's blowing one or something like that, yeah. it's gone. <clears throat> Don't you worry, I got you guys rigged up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Don't appreciate that when the wind yeah. starts blowing. All right, you gonna see if this thing starts? Yep. This thing's happy, it gets to come out and play. Yeah, it's been a while. <sighs> <laughs> it just don't 
up like they used to. Uh -uh. Let's move some gravel or mud or whatever the heck's in that hole. Give you guys a little bit of a vision of what we kind of want to dig out yet. That cedar tree is right there in front of my bucket. Kind of want to go in a straight line to that cedar tree. Aaron's kind of, whoa! Easy. Don't worry, that tree's coming out anyways. It will stand you back up. Nothing ever happened. Nothing to see here. Uh, that little bit of cedar tree out there, kind of by itself, basically going to go straight line from one to the other. That's going to be our little uh, pond addition area for shooting for. So I'm going to try to pull this water up here from the rain last night. We got about three quarters of an inch of rain last night. I'm going to try to get set up. I don't know if I'm better off digging this way or digging this way like I was yesterday. We dug that way yesterday. I think I'm going to dig back this way today. Just kind of see how that see how that goes. I'm thinking I can maybe control my water a little better this way, but nothing's a guarantee, folks. Man, that ground is hard. I almost wonder what the old uh, 850 of the Ripper would do down here, but there's such big rocks in here. I'm sure it's an option, but it's not available, so I don't know if it really is an option. There's two foot of some decent gravel. Then you get down into some spoil rock, probably off the surge pile, and some clay. A whole lot of nastiness. groundwater coming in there, that's not going to work. Jeez, a beat. This thing should have no problem staying full with the amount of water coming out of this ground. It's absolutely insane. I kind of switched up game plans on what we're doing with this. Basically, we're going to push this over kind of into a holding area. And just let it dry out good. That way we can do whatever we need to do later with it. It's been a lot easier to, uh, a lot easier to work with.
I've kind of figured out what they got going on here a little bit where all that water's coming from. So if you go across here, they got like, I don't know, 18, 20 inches of gravel. And eventually you get down into this layer of clay. It's a bigger rock. And that seems to be capping off even some bigger rock. You see that scoop right there? It's like all that water. All that water is like in all those bigger rocks. It's like a big sponge underneath there. I'm trying to dig as much of this stuff off the top as I can. Keeping it dry until I get into that other layer down there. And then after that, it's just a free for all. But the actual the actual water level of the pond still dropping. It's down about another eight inches. There's only about a foot of water left in there, which is more than I'd like, but at least it's manageable. I thought about going to get Bubba Dump all of this stuff, but Aaron's keeping up just fine with the 850. With the 850, it kind of spreads it out, so we need to get this material dried out one way or another. I think we're going to keep doing what we're doing because it seems to be working. Everybody wants to know where you've been. Working. I think I got mad and fired you. No. I've been working my normal job. Normal job? Got rained out today, so next couple days I can work. Hopefully you're a truck driver today, not actual crash. It's been good. It's been real great. But don't jinx it. Except for the whole part where the truck didn't start this morning. So the track's real loose. No, it's not. It's perfect. No, that's loose. It's perfect. I saw your truck driver, not mechanic and operator. I do both. All three. <laughs> she do some better than others, though. We all do a goal on those things about four feet. We're probably, actually, I know we're right at three feet below the level of that. So this water needs to be at least a foot deep. And I don't know if you guys can tell down there, but that is, that is dead on a foot right there. So we're, uh, pretty close to where we need to be. I'm gonna go around here and check a few measurements just to make sure before we get too far out, we're not. Oh my goodness, dead on a foot too. Spot on. I've been kind of using the grade control system a little bit to keep us, keep us close. And uh, my super sophisticated depth checking device here says we're close. 
Sometimes I don't know what's more miserable, digging in this rock, rattling your teeth out of your head all day long, or digging in mud when you're sitting there spinning your tracks. But we are, uh, Kind of turn the corner, head back the other way. I want to get a little bit of shape to this thing so it kind of looks nice. Right over there is going to be our boat dock, our boat ramp, I should say. I kind of like to dig back to this cedar tree right here. That's kind of our other corner and kind of make that shoreline a little, a little goofy. Make a nice little peninsula out there. We're getting there. I think me and Aaron talked. After we get this section here dug out, we're going to rip out our uh, dam over there. I think we're going to switch over to Bubba Dump and actually haul that material because it's going to be a little farther push than what we're doing now. And obviously, we got good solid ground to run on, so that should be a problem. We're getting there. It's just a fight. Hard digging, folks. come back and try to fill it in later especially if it's underwater so I'm not gonna get too carried away with this thing we just launched a John boat in here oh that's a rock 
Oh, imagine that. Got an ingenious idea that might be a little bit risky. I don't like the way you're Before we flood this hole, we need to do two things. We need to get the, the ramp area smoothed up a little bit. And I'd like to take those and run it down that side over here one time. Well, it's deep more to do the ramp. Now you use 850 to go around the edge. You no. Go around the edge. Well, last I checked, they're both of my dozers. Maybe on paper, but <laughs> in real life. D4 mine, 850 years. Well, I don't think that water is overly deep. We'll find out if yeah. something goes wrong. Yeah, yeah,
It does. It looks a lot better. The fish will appreciate that. Yeah, the fish will appreciate it. I, I don't know bottom. about the fish, but I know Michael. I got He'll the whole bottom it. skim, so there ain't no big random rocks left over. Here. Yeah. You could have used your dozer for that, not mine. Point to that, it's about 18 inches deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that close to being too deep. Yeah. That <laughs> was one haul away from getting wet. Uh -huh. All right, well, since this has got to go farther, I guess we're going to load it up above the dump. Yeah. We want to, I'm going to leave that pump run as long as I can because the more stuff we get out there and dry, the better off we are. Yeah. Uh, so what side do you want to start on? I guess let's start on that side. Far side? Pump, keep going. All right. You ready, truck driver? I'm ready. I'll okay. keep it out of the water. All right, we're going we're gonna to make, we're going to make the big pond a little pond one. All right, guys, we are, uh, I'm gonna close that windshield so I can already tell you guys what's gonna happen. I'm gonna end up wearing.
enough tires. I don't know how well it's going to stay in there. All right. stuff I tell you It's time to see this water fly. I know, it's crazy.
That may be the fastest the pond's ever filled up with this. Yeah, it is. Hey, if you want, I can run home, get the boogie board real quick, and you can uh, ride these little waves out. I don't think I'll be taking the D4 through there anymore. No, my D4 is done. It's not going back in that hole. There's a lot of water going in there. Yeah, there is. Now we just got to make sure it stays within our little boundary we got. <laughs> yeah, yeah did the uh, old eagle eye on it because you didn't do the uh, transit chute. I'll oh, have the all natural water level. Did they get lowered the water level of the main pond any? I don't know if it's pumping in this pond out of the bottom like it was pumping in this new hole. I doubt it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. Alright, you ready to hammer down and get this dug out? Yeah, we need to hammer down and get this dug out. Yeah. We need to get this dug out, we need to get that other spot dug out quick, get everything moved out before Mike comes back, likes what he sees and wants more water. That feels up nice. Yeah, it did. Alright. Let's deliver the Looks good. Shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Alright, you ready? Good 
job pulling himself out. You gonna explain how we ended up in that predicament? Yeah, you had this great idea of moving it out. And I said, it's too soft, don't do it. No, no, first off, we fired the drag line up because we put our people up on top for this really awesome time lapse. Yeah. And somebody forgot to hit the record button, so sorry yeah, about that's that. Right. Good news, I still got a full battery though. Yeah. <laughs> we while it was running, we may actually need it over there tomorrow, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and walk it around there. Yeah, you know, that's right. You thought you would. It don't get around as good as the Hyundai. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, crisis averted. We made it. All right. Pond's filled up. It looks good. We got the uh, got the dam pretty much completely out of there. I think the last thing we need to do at the end of the day to call this park somewhat complete. Basically, we're going to be as far as we can go until it dries out a little bit. Yeah. We need to load up them big uh, prize possession rocks we found. Yeah. I swear. This place is like beating your head against the rock. All right, let's get these loaded up. And then uh, we're gonna call it a day. Tomorrow we gotta come back. We'll finish uh, cleaning up some loose edges. And then he's got a little bit of dredging he wants to do over there on that other side. I don't know if I can reach it all with the track. Here. That's why I'd walk the drag line over there. And uh, I love my drag line, but I'm glad I don't got to run it all day. But it does have more reach than this. And the super stick we got will not fit on this. So, yeah. 120 is not here. We're just going to have to make do, folks. All right. These things are hard enough to dig out of the ground whenever you can see what you're doing. They're even harder to dig out of the ground when you can't see what you're doing. I'm bring our own back here. See how your cameras are they all covered in mud? Cop left, y'all. What I got that ain't got mud on it. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, that's a real bummer.
scare the snow in there. No more. The rocks are loaded up. Day's about over with. Sun's back out. I give up. It's crazy weather around here. Never know what's going on, guys. But this is what the end of day two looks like. Man, that looks uh, awesome. Mike Frenchville is down here, which is the owner. Checked it out. He's very, very happy with it. Tomorrow, we need to do a little bit of dredging straight out from that pile. That's where the old boat ramp was at. Make sure we get that so he can get a boat launched over here, get out. And then on the other side, that little finger going up through there. We're basically going to dredge enough material out to fill in back behind there he's trying to eliminate any shallow water just for mosquitoes and maintenance a whole bunch of other stuff so basically tomorrow we'll come down here we'll hopefully get that dredged out probably let this sit for i don't know a week or two let everything kind of dry out a little bit we kind of got a lot of that stuff spread out up there got that spread out over there and then we'll be able to come in here at the dozer and kind of clean up all the uh clean up all the edges but uh yeah there's some nasty hard digging stuff it's going pretty good so all right let's get this one dumped i'll meet you on the other end buddy we're gonna take these over and dump them on the stockpile on the other end of the property that way they're all together and more importantly they're out of our way This is also the location, if you guys remember all the videos of hauling the uh, material over to the boat dock we did, this is uh, where we hauled, hauled the majority of that material out of, so. I'd say uh, dump them more up towards like directly to your right. Oh, I thought the truck just didn't turn that sharp. This looks pretty damn good back here for what we had to deal with. Is that that rock? Is that right there in the wood? Yeah, that one. Alien, alien must have placed that one. This roll of rocks. Up on top of them, or right next to them? Uh, just on my side of them. This roll of rocks used to go from here all the way out to that point. That tells you how many we hold out here over the years. Uh, it's probably good right there. Did big old thumbs up. We definitely appreciate it. it. Helps out the channel. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. And when we catch you tomorrow, it's gonna be.